Whenever you create a ROS2, Python or a C++ package, a lot of auto-generated file come into your workspace and at start they make no sense why we have a CMake list, why we have setup.py file. Hi there, I am Lukman and we will be discussing in this video about configuration files in C++ based package and Python based package of ROS2. I remember when I first started ROS and we have to create a package it automatically generates a lot of files we can see here and these all seems to be very confusing and makes no sense but once you understand their essence it's like having a map in an entire project and you know the flow by looking at the setup file or the cmake list what is happening we have two packages python and c++ both of these are auto generated and they have different structures it has include source directory it has python package and no include source directory now i have placed basic node.cpp and basic node.py these two nodes individually in different packages at this point if i go into workspace and perform call can build Then we source our workspace, then we source our workspace and we say ROS to run CPP package. It auto completes, but it does not shows any of the node. Similarly, at this point, if I say Python package and press double tap, no node. The reason is we have to set these nodes into our packages. And how we do that? First of all, in CMake list, we tell it the node is utilizing certain packages. And we open the node, basic node. Here it utilizes RCLCPP. So we will be adding that package first. RCLCPP is required. And we have to create an executable. By just saying add executable name of the executable is going to be cpp node and the location is inside of the source directory and basic node dot cpp once the executable is produced we have to tag or link these dependencies that it is using which we tell through cpp node this node and the dependencies are rcl cpp Still, the process is not complete. We have to tell that this node is in this specific package and we do that using targets. CPP node is the target executable that we have made and you are going to be placing it inside of lib directory of this project. This process of CMake list is confusing as compared to Python. It is fairly simple. Let's now perform call can build. And now if I say ROS2 run CPP package, double press tab, you can see it brought up the CPP node itself. For Python, node addition is quite simple. You simply add it inside of your console script. What is the name of the node? Python node is equal to Python package, name of the package and name of the node now. That was basic node main function is going to be called and that's how simple it is to simply add your node inside of python script although in c++ you have to add the packages link the extra libraries that you are adding and then installing it in a certain destination let's perform call can build and ros2 run python package press double tab it has python node now this is the difference for adding nodes between CMake list and setup tool. The main thing is both of these are just scripts. This now setup.py is a script that is sent to setup tools that then further packages and builds the whole module of Python. CMake list is again a script or configuration setup that is sent to CMake that builds the whole package. Adding external libraries meaning adding extra superpower into our package. In Python node, we just need to write import cv2 given that we have already installed opencv in our whole system but for c++ node it is not that simple that we just write include opencv core core dot hpp core features it is not going to work if i perform call can build here it is going to say where is this 
OpenCV include that you have done, although the Python package will work. To install an external library into your C++ node, you have to add the package first. In our case, it is going to be find the package of OpenCV that is installed on your system. And as OpenCV have multiple directories, you are going to include all of the OpenCV directories that include the core functionality, high GUI and image proc modules. And after that, you have to link the libraries with your executable that you are producing. In our case, CPP node is the executable we are producing, RCL CPP is linked and we are going to add OpenCV libraries, a placeholder for its whole paths and it is also going to be linked. And other than that, everything is fine. Let's perform call can build. Although this is going to bring up error, but that error is not related to unable to find OpenCV. It might be error to other packages that I have not installed on my system. But in a nutshell, it is now able to find out OpenCV and some packages that are not installed on my system are not there in the core library. So that is how you add libraries here. In the CMake, this is auto-generated test system that if you are not using, remove it. You should be using. And if you want to add other libraries, you can add and link them with your executable here. In your packages, you have these nodes and you also have launch files and configuration files and some other models or URDF. In launch file, you mostly use Python based launch files we will call it test.launch file. This is a launch file. And similarly for both of the packages, launch file and configuration files are there. Now for both of these Python and CMake files, you have to tell them that I have these directories as well. And what do I mean by that? If you can see this path, that destination, lib and project name. Here it is given as share package name and then package XML. Let's open it up robotism workspace and in this workspace we are going to go into our install inside of install we have cp package and python package let's open up cp package first in a new window and let me put it side by side we have cp package python package in both of these we have lib and share in cp package lib this is the executable node that we have produced in lib we have python package and this is the executable python node that we have so in lib we have nodes coming to the share directory we have python package and at this specific point we don't have anything else than some event index call con code and cmake environment and hook nothing else than that now we are going to create folders that we want to put on these share locations so we can easily call them on other launch files from other packages as well. In CMake list, we do that by simply writing install and directory in capitals. And what directory we want to install? The launch directory and the config directory. These are the two directories that we have just created and we want to save them where specify the destination destination is going to be share folder we are going to be linking it with the project name so we can easily track them and the system can also track them easily project name and the bracket gets closed that's how you do it in cmake for python we need to import certain libraries like os that deals with the paths from globe import globe and here in data files, we are going to be adding another path, which is share package, share directory, package name and launch directory with this start.py. Let's perform call can build. And we will open both of these directories of ours. Call can build has been successfully done. What has happened is a launch folder has produced in which a launch is inside of cpp package now in python package it directly pasted this test.launch but no launch folder has been copied here coming to the cpp the configuration folder is also there but in python it is not there the reason is we have just copy pasted thing like this we can also mention that in package share directory create a launch directory and then put all the dot python files there and similarly we can also add config folder 
as config folder is empty there will be nothing inside of it so nothing to copy that's why it is going to give us an error and again perform call can build and see it in our directories cp package is going to be the same the python package is going to have the launch directory and it's so all of these configuration where to save the files where to take the files from these directories and put it in the share directory is decided in cmake and setup.py files let's take a look on to this repository point cloud segmentation for autonomous behavior which is my repository in which i have been performing point cloud processing in ros2 coming to its packages explore and understand from point cloud processing and this one as well it's a sub module this one that i created will directly open cmake list before going into the source and launch and i can pretty easily tell that what is happening in this package it is using pcl which is point cloud library rcl cpp sensor messages this package this package this package this package and it is using directories included for pcl and for all of these nodes i can directly see and understand that which are actually using ros none of them till this point are using ros because at this specific point the rcl cpp is added as a dependency before that only pcl is utilized this is the understanding that we have been building for the previous seven to eight minutes and i can easily tell this one is for ros and this one is for ros only once these rcl cpp is added and these packages are added we put them inside of the install targets which make them as executable from ROS nodes although some of them are not using RCL CPP but they still can be executed with ROS2 run command and in directories are launch and RWS no configuration now let's go into the source directory and we can easily tell now that this one specifically if we go into this it is named as 5 kitty data voxel CPP if we look at here 5 kitty data voxel it is compiled and the executable name is kitty voxel the ros2 run this package name and kitty voxel is going to be running actually this source code which is including a lot of header files that we can dig down so that's how you dissect the whole package by looking just at your cmake list now i think you understand more about ros2 packages and you can now leverage ros2 packages available online on github by just looking into their configuration files and understand what they are doing